Hello everyone and welcome to another informative video on colon cancer. Today we will talk about some critical symptoms that you should definitely not ignore. Did you know that cancer cases, particularly colon cancer, are increasing not only among the elderly population but increasingly among younger people too? That's why today we explore this worrying trend and investigate some of the most common symptoms you may experience. Colon cancer is one of the most devastating diseases today. It is the third most commonly diagnosed type of cancer and the second most deadly type of cancer. To further complicate the fight against this disease, we are witnessing the emergence of a formidable industry built around it. An industry driven by misleading advertising and a thicket of confusing information that often leaves both patients and healthcare professionals perplexed. And an often misunderstood concept is that the risk of colon cancer is determined mainly by genetics. Yes, having a family history can increase your risk, but that's only 5 to 10% of the time. It is therefore not the only factor at play. The famous phrase, geniuses can load the gun, but our life choices pull the trigger, is often alluded to. And this is especially true when we talk about cancer. So, how do you know if you have colon cancer? What are the first symptoms? What signs indicate the advanced stages of the disease? and how to diagnose it as soon as possible. This type of tumor can escape detection for a long time, sometimes for years. Generally, it begins as a small, slow-growing polyp on our intestinal wall, which produces no symptoms in the early stages. However, there are common symptoms of colon cancer that you may experience. Tumors often grow in a disorganized manner, causing bleeding. The problem is that this bleeding is not visible, one method of early diagnosis involves testing stool samples for occult blood. A stool sample is taken and sent to a laboratory for analysis. Another common symptom is change in bowel habits. Change in your normal toileting routine, change in the shape of fecal matter, or episodes of diarrhea alternating with periods of constipation. It is advisable to consider performing a colonoscopy to check for intestinal cancer. Other symptoms indicative of a more advanced tumor include abdominal pain from obstruction-induced gas accumulation, abdominal swelling, weight loss, fatigue, and chronic tiredness. The symptoms could also manifest themselves in the internal organs, such as pain in the liver due to metastases or shortness of breath if the lungs are affected. In these situations, a fundamental tool is the colonoscopy. But what exactly is it, and who should consider undergoing it? We live in an age where we have tools and technologies available to detect and eliminate disease in its early stages. One of these tools is the colonoscopy. What is a colonoscopy, you ask? Well, a colonoscopy can save your life, literally. A colonoscopy is a diagnostic tool that doctors use to examine the entire colon and rectum. If you are over the age of 50 or have a high risk of developing colon cancer, you should consider having a colonoscopy. Similar investigations can also help detect intestinal polyps, which can potentially develop into cancer. I would say raise your hand if you would like answers to all these questions. It should be noted that colon cancer may be more elusive if it develops on the right side of our intestine. In fact, here the feces are still liquid and unless the tumor is very advanced or has metastasized to other organs, it is difficult for it to obstruct the intestine. For those at risk, colonoscopy can be an effective way to detect and remove polyps, especially if we are in our mid-40s or 50s or if we have first-degree relatives who have had cancer. Another method for early diagnosis is virtual colonoscopy. Colon CT, computed tomography, is a non-invasive radiological diagnostic investigation that allows the internal wall of the colon to be visualized without the use of an endoscopic probe through a low-dose CT examination of the abdomen. The exam takes place after introducing carbon dioxide into the abdomen, a gas which, unlike air, is reabsorbed without creating any discomfort. In addition to colonoscopies, stool analyzes for occult blood are also performed Watch out for these warning signs. Iron deficiency anemia can be a sign of intestinal cancer. We ask our friends who follow us not only to watch this video, but also to spread it with friends, family, with anyone who may find it useful. Remember, prevention is better than cure. 
For all health and wellness enthusiasts, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell because we will inform you every time we publish new informative videos like this one. In conclusion, colon cancer can be a devastating disease, but there are many things we can do to recognize the symptoms early, to prevent the disease, and to fight against it should we unfortunately develop it. The peace of mind and awareness that comes from being informed about the risks to our health are worth much more than you might think. Remember, your body is your home, take care of it. Don't miss our next video where we will talk about equally interesting and important topics. Thank you for your time and for watching this video. See you next time.